Hi everyone, it's Anya here and today I'm making another vegan recipe for you and today it's caramel sauce which doesn't require any cooking and no sugar or anything like that so I'll show you how it is made. So first of all what you need is two cups of pitted dates so I just roughly put them in a cup so it was level and then put them into a bowl and it was about equivalent to 20 pretty large dates and then what you want to do is soak it with one whole lemon juiced and then also add enough water just to cover all the dates in the bowl so any sort of water but I used filtered water and then let it sit for at least an hour and it'll really help to soften up the dates and make them nice and creamy when you blend them up later on so that's the first part then what you want to do is after at least an hour, you can do it overnight if that's easier, you want to drain off the liquid. So again, it was the juice of one lemon and then water to the level of the dates, or just covering the dates. And drain it off. And then you can keep that juice and soak another lot if you want to make some more. Or you could put them into a smoothie or um, possibly even use them if you're making cake or something. Okay, so I'm going to put these into a blender. Set that aside. Okay, we also want the juice of half a lemon. So that will go in now. Then half a cup of maple syrup. So I use the 100% pure Canadian maple syrup. Slowly pouring in. Okay. Half a cup of maple syrup. We also have this recipe written underneath, so you can look at it after you watch the video. It's really quite simple. And then one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract. So you can get this in most health food stores. This is the alcohol free version. Mm, yum. So one tablespoon, which is about 20 ml. That's the last of my vanilla. Okay. And one teaspoon of Celtic sea salt. And I've got the coarse grain sea salt there, so one teaspoon there again. And then we're going to blend it all up till it's nice and smooth. sauce too is that you can put it into a container and you can store it in the freezer and it'll actually stay quite soft and you can serve it straight from the freezer so it lasts well it can last for a long time but we tend to eat it pretty quickly so it doesn't last long in our house and there you have it okay, nice soft and creamy and sweet delicious caramel sauce and this can be um, used to make ice cream or you can serve it over um, muffins you could even scoop out a muffin and use it as an, a filling or as a topping and I personally like to just chop up some apples apple slices and have apple slices and caramel sauce. So there you have it. Delicious simple caramel sauce. Mm. Doesn't require any cooking and only five ingredients. Enjoy.